Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to a special episode of Xenoblade Mondays right here at the Force in Unison Gaming Channel. So what is today's special episode? Well, it's basically me giving an explanation how to properly and easily build Puppy, Cutie Pie, and of course the other two puppies too because they are as important. Uh, a lot of people has ask me for my build of puppy uh because uh if you see my super bosses videos i really do a lot of damage with puppy cutie pie so i want to take this opportunity i wanted to create a video that was easy to follow and in reality you don't have to grind that much in tiger tiger so what i will explain the steps that you need to take to easily and properly build puppy cutie pie quickly let's do that sweet rigmarole uh, I want to welcome everybody to this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment so you can make this crazy MS happy. Also remember, we do have a Nintendo podcast called the Get In and Get Out Nintendo podcast every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, we do have a Facebook page called at Forcing Unison Gaming. And finally, and Dante says finally, go to ChigueroSNews.com and give some clicks and love to my boy Caliones. With all that said, let's start the show. The first thing we need to do, of course, to start making Poppy a beast is getting those five technical manuals. So I will be showing you uh, where those five technical manuals are. Of course, here's the first one in Uraya. Should be your first one. This one is really hard to miss because this is where you crash when you get into Uraya. So it's the first one and an easy one to find. Is a silent killer. We had better rest soon. Okay. The second one is in Empire of Moral Day in the old factory. So here's a skip travel, so you guys can go get the second one. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna walk to that chest. Again, this is important because you need to get the five technical manuals to really get all the parts that you will need to create to make Poppy, uh, you know, a beast. So, so I know it's going to be a little bit boring the first part, but it is critical. If you guys don't have the five technical manuals, you won't be able to uh, to make Puppy the beast. Oh. Uh, long fall there. There it is, the second technical manual. You have to walk all the way up that building, but you should get it. And don't worry, you won't have. Uh, typically, you should have those uh, high-level drivers uh, only if you if you're uh, at the end of the game. But the next one is in Tantal, in the palace. So here you go. Go and skip travel to the hall of reception. Let's rest the spell. Okay, here we going. go. It was where uh, you were being held captive the, ver the first time you got into the the palace in Tantal. Uh, just go here to the king's uh, storage area. Open this chest. I think there was a couple of uh, of skill fields that you needed to open the chest. But if you're being uh, opening course, you should be fine. The next one is in the land of Moritha. Uh, uh, and this is one of the areas that it's kind of like a secret area in a sense uh, where it's located. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go into this back room, but everything is going to be dark. So uh, the only way to get there is to, uh, you know, turn on the lights. And uh, if you have the field skills, you should be able to do it. No problem. Uh, once you do that, just go to this area what I'm showing. Just go up, go up here. Yep, long climb. Maybe I should uh, fast forward this video, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys to see it pretty well. So if you know, if you you know exactly where the locations are of each manual, so. Here we go. This is one of the secret areas, and then there's uh, even the secret place is here close by in this area. So 
You could have probably come faster from the secret place, but I wanted to show you the long route just in case. Make sure you can find it in case you haven't found the, the secret area. Uh, okay, so the mana is right here. Turn the corner here. It's really, really... Uh, <laughs> it was a little, well hidden there. You, you, if you were walking fast, you probably could have missed it. But right there. That's the chest. Get that. And you should have the fourth technical manual. The last technical manual, of course, in the game. If I get to it, of course, is in the world three. Of course, you <laughs> they make sure that you were close to the end of the game before you, you, you got the last one. But anyway, skip travel to Skybridge. Okay, once there, just go straight, get through that elevator to go up. Get a puppy cutie pie dancing. She loves to dance. She's a dancing girl. Dancing queen. Oh. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, guys, so you leave the elevator. Just turn around the corner there. And here we go. This is it. The last technical manual. Okay. Now we got all the manuals. That was the key. So now we're going to the next step of the build. Now, if you go to Poppy Swap, you can create all the parts that you need, depending if you have the either net crystal, either crystal, sorry. So you can see that you can get uh, back attack up five, critical up five, uh, damage absorb five. Any any part can be created on Poppy Swap, and 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 that is key because that's how you're gonna start building. The parts that you need to build your powerful Pappy. So it is not like you need to get the parts from playing Tiger Tiger. Okay, let's clarify that. Even the roles, you can get Evasion Mod 5, Lock Mod 5. And I know there's the Master Mods for the roles that you can only get on Tiger Tiger. But in reality, you don't need them. You can get by with just buying like a Tank Mod 5. You don't need the Master Mod. So you should be good. Anyway, after that, next step, the fun part. You're going to play Tiger Tiger. So yeah, now you, you identify, you got the parts, level 5, that you can create yourself. And the next step is just to play Tiger Tiger and get some uh, some uh, either crystals, right? Uh, uh, and the key with, with Tiger Tiger, play it on easy. Don't kill yourself. In reality, don't kill yourself. Easy is better. It's faster what you're trying to do. Uh, you can hit the blocks and don't take any hits. And it's going to be easier even to get all the perfects, right? So I'm showing here a little bit how to play Tiger Tiger. Uh, just evade. You don't need to kill all the monsters. What matters here is try to collect all the crystals. Try to not to get hit. Uh, and also try to collect all the chests. That's, that's the key. And then if you do that, you can get a uh, perfect. So... I admit, I do try to kill as much monsters as I can. So when I go up, there's uh, less obstacles, of course. Almost missed that. <laughs> Left that one on the side, but I know that I'm going to be able to get it up once I come up. Uh, from the picking the big chest. Trying not to uh, get the big chest because uh, if you hit it, <laughs> you're going up automatically. So here we go. So we're going up. Next step. Don't get hit. There we go. Got all the crystals. Got all the chests. Now the goal is not to get hit. Now, if you want to get the master mod parts, you can try to keep playing stage 5. Uh, if you get the big chest, there's a chance that you could get the light, uh, ro uh, light uh, element for Poppy. It's the only way that you can get the light element. You cannot buy it. And then the, also you can get the master mods, which are, you know, you can be attacker master mod or a tank master mod or tank master tank evasion mode. There's plenty 
of, of Master Mods. But again, to make Poppy kick ass, you don't need to do that. So I'm, I'm just giving you the easy because it, trust me, I, I, I did get one of the Master Mods, like the Attack Master Mod, but it took a while to get. And at one point I was so tired of, 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 of uh, Tiger Tiger. So I'm just telling you to get the bare minimum. Here's some parts that you got. This is parts that you got from the chest. Uh, but here's the part, right? Since you know that you can buy the parts that you need, right? Uh, now you're going to get the parts that you don't want. And you're just going to sell them or crystallize them and turn them into either crystals. So here's an example. Anything that I pick up that I don't need while playing Tiger Tiger, I just sell it back. And that way you can gain more crystals. As you play Tiger Tiger, you can build uh, more either crystals and then you take the parts and sell them now once you do that now I'm showing you my loadout for poppy QT pot so you see that I got master trike strike mod like I said it's fine I got it from tiger tiger is the only way to get it but you can do uh, strike mod 5 and that should be fine you don't need to get the other ones electric uh, all the other uh, elements you can do whatever you can buy them uh, you can set up whatever you want to do but here's the pieces right you can see it right there. I'm showing you. And you, again, each of these parts that I'm showing you right now can be made through Puppy Swap. You don't need to get it through Tiger Tiger. This is critical. And, and, and how the parts are built up is uh, it's critical heal. I can also heal my teammates. And also it's set up like Challenger and Swift Strike. Challenger hits high level monsters harder. And Swift Strike, after 30 seconds, you're. Uh, you're output of damage output already increases so that's already turning poppy qt pie into a beast now poppy qt and poppy alpha are made to be tanks so you're gonna see why they have uh like there see tank mod 5 and that works fine you don't need the master tank mod uh i, I put an earth just because again it, it's basically based on the elements how i set up with the other two party members uh aggro boost again you want to make sure that you pick up that aggro Again, critical restore because, again, you're trying to heal as you attack the monsters. And then, of course, uh, uh, vital charge. Uh, again, if there's a high-level monster, you will you will hit it harder. Swift strike. Again, after 30 seconds, you will, your damage will increase. And then ultimate shield. Uh, is the good part about it is that you have a 50% chance to completely uh, uh, eva evading or blocking an attack. So basically, it doesn't... Uh, take any HP from you and now puppy alpha and puppy alpha is like a beast for for blocking She's a wall again tank mod 5. You don't need to do master tank mode. You should be fine uh, AC damage absorb again arch boost again. You want to power all those boosts uh, Block rate again 5 because again, this is the wall this 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 girl just blocks everything on her path again uh, some uh, absorb arts because you want to heal uh, Challenger 3 again because it, to high level monsters when you're fighting those super bosses you want to be hitting them harder and the same with Swift Strike and again it goes back to Ultimate Shield because I got so high look at that block rate from my Poppy Alpha is 93% so basically with Ultimate Shield I am blocking half of all the attacks it doesn't hit me at all so e Poppy Alpha even becomes even better tank the Morak in an evasion tank so Again, that's my bills for the poppies. Uh, hopefully, it helps. I'm going to quickly summarize to tell you how I have to build the poppies, right? Uh, first, get the technical manuals. Once you got the technical manuals, you can make the parts yourself. You don't need to get them through Tiger Tiger. Okay, second piece. Once you know that you got the technical manuals, now you're going to go to Tiger Tiger and you're going to get enough crystals so you can then make the parts that you need that I showed you from my build and any other builds because there's a lot of builds out there that you can use that are even better builds that, than mine. Mine, I think, is a, a pretty good build that can destroy any super boss, but there's builds out there that you, Tora can do it all alone and kill the monster easily. So anyway, it just depends on what you're trying to achieve. But I like to play as a team, so my builds, I think, is more, as, more, more normal probably. But anyway, uh, once you have the manuals, you build the, the, the get the five, the parts that you need that you saw from my build, right? And then just start putting them in your poppies. And of course, with the either crystals, you're gonna have to expand and open all those, uh, uh, I guess, uh, chips, you could call them, to be able to put those parts. So that's key, okay? So anyway, I think that's it, that, that show you. It should be easy. You shouldn't have no problem building your poppies the way that I have them right now. 
to kick some ass your ass. Anyway, with all that said, I think it's time to end it. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment so you can make these two crazy MFs happy. Also remember, every Monday we have Xenoblade Monday for your entertainment. Also, we do have a Nintendo podcast called The Get In and Get Out Nintendo Podcast every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can get that podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes for free. Also, we do have a Facebook page called At Force in Unison Gaming. And finally, and Dante says finally, go to ChigueroSNews.com and give some clicks and love to my boy Caliones. With all that said, thank you again, guys. See you and long live Xenoblade.